Hello, I'm going to show you a quick overview of moving your Everrise V1 to V2. This is the website of Everrise.com. This is Adam Shelton. Thank you for watching this video today. Now, when you things you do want to know, here is the address where your V2 will go to right there, right? That's the address there. The next thing you want to go ahead and do is click on the rise. So you want to go ahead and migrate now. When you click over there, it's going to direct you to a page that says upgrade your V1 to V2. Next thing you want to do is connect your wallet together. If I connect wallet, click on one of these four. I'm going to use wallet connect and then choose your network of Binance smart chain. So I'm going to click on there as well. Then click on submit. So once I did that, it connected me automatically to my wallet connect because I connect earlier with it. So what you would have to do normally, I would have to go ahead and scan my actually information in, but I didn't have to do that this time. The next thing I want to do, you go ahead and move over your Everwise V1 to V2. So if I did maximal amount, I would do the maximal and then click on migrate. Once that click on migrate, you will see your information down here. Very simple and very easy. So if I go back over here, and go back to the main screen here. This is the address you want to go ahead and connect to when you're going into your trust wallet or your MetaMask of moving your V1 to V2. This is very, very important. One more thing you want to know here that I noticed is right there. They said here, our D apps are available on the Binance Smart Chain Ethereum network. They will be available on the Polygon network starting November 29th. So it's good to do this before November 29th to, to avoid any additional fees as well if you use Binance or Ethereum. One more thing to know is that when you're going ahead and, and migrating, you can move it over to a different wallet address. I didn't use this feature. I kept everything on my trust wallet using the Wallet Connect. It keeps everything simple and very easy in one spot. And Everwise does talk about the fact that you can move your stuff over to another address. But I'm one of those type of people who keep one thing in one place one spot so then once that's migrated over the next thing you can do is stake it so this is the staking information here i got everything migrated everything ready to go so i'm going to go ahead and stake it as well so here here right here and i'm going to name it captain rise and in a lock period i'm going to do 12 months now there's information here that says please make sure you read about the early withdrawal fees before staking or withdrawing. Click there to make sure that you understand if there will be any fees or withdrawing information there. I plan to stake this for 12 months, so I'm good to go. So let me go ahead and make the adjustment here. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, two, here, six. When we do this, one, eight, five, five, six, zero, zero. Try that amount. Initiating sign up approval step is doing that right now. So it's processing. I'm going to check my trust wallet to make sure everything is okay with that. Um, everything is going to initiating the sign up or approval step is processing right now. Once that's processed, this will be locked for 12 months. This is just an example that I'm showing you guys right now. So that's how you do it. So basically, that's how you move your V1 to V2. And if you want to stake it, you click over under Everstake, click on list, and you can stake your stuff for really up from one month to 12 months as well. This is Adam Shelton, the captain speaking, and I'll see you on a later video.